Welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. Mlinmoy Pramanik. I teach comparative Indian language and literature at the University of Calcutta. Now, we will discuss uh, Indian theatrical tradition and rise of Bhasha, Bhasha culture, Bhasha theatre. Uh, the content of this module is written by Mr. Benil Bishyash, Assistant Professor, Theatre Arts, Theatre and Performance Studies, Ambedkar University, Delhi. Um, India is known for its living folk tradition. There can be no quarrel about the fact that any art form always reflects the essences of the society. Its fortitude to endure its spirit, emotion, fellow feelings and so on. In India, religion, myth and uh, philosophy can never be separated from their art forms. Dance and music are tied inseparably to ritual, ceremony of any kind, marriages, births, uh, entering a new house or town, uh, religious processions, harvest time, welcome guest, any or all of these are events for melody, music and dance, which extemporaneously uh, conveying the entire vestment of human emotions and experiences. Throughout India, there are tribal areas where each tribe has its own unique music and dance. Nevertheless, uh, there are similar patterns that they all share for instance, uh, men and women uh, creating distinct rows with linked arms and performing intricate leg movement in a progressively uh, increasing rhythm that builds up to a uh, crescendo of dynamism, vigor and heartiness. In community living, the art of singing, music and dance has its own importance. In all the bhasha performance practices, songs and the art of singing have a substantial role to play. As mentioned earlier, the folk traditions of India has a rich overview of songs, dances and other forms of performances. Each of these genres would need a module dedicated to them. In this module, our focus will be on the Indian bhasha or vernacular drama or theatre, uh, theatre rang traditions in its rural and urban manifestations. In most of Indian Bhasha theatre is called Rang or Natya. Drama is Rang Shahitya, theatre is Rang Karma. Now, let us talk about Bhasha or the vernacular theatre tradition of India. Theatre of Rang Karma as an old form of communication is a deep rooted tradition in India's vibrant culture. As mentioned earlier, the folk Bhasha Rang is a amalgamated art in India with a synthesis of components from music, epic and ballad recital, versification, dance, pantomime, graphic and plastic arts, faith and festival of the common people. Bhasha theatre has been used extensively in India to propagate critical social, political and cultural issues in the form of theatrical messages to create awareness among the people. As an indigenous form, it breaks all kinds of formal barriers of human communication and appeals directly to the people. One could further acknowledge that folk theatre having roots embedded in local bhasha identity and, and social values besides uh, providing mass entertainment helped Indian society as indigenous tools of interpersonal, intergroup and intervillage communication for ages. However, there is an impression that many of these performance genre are dying out because of the popularity of Bollywood movies. But on the contrary, famous cinema from Bollywood has successfully portrayed and has drawn inspiration from the folk traditions of India. In fact, every movie would have either one or two songs or dances specific to folk tradition of that specific region to provide you with a flavor of the local bhasha. And now, uh, let, us, uh, let us focus on how the emergence of 
bhasha tradition um, happened. Now, let us talk about emergence of uh, great bhasha traditions. A rich cultural heritage of almost 3000 years has been the nurturing ground for theatre and its folk forms. Emerging after Greek and Roman theatre, Sanskrit theatre closely associated with um, primordial rituals is the earliest form of Indian theatre. Ascribed to Bharat Muni, Natya Shastra is considered to be the initial and most elaborate uh, treatise on dramaturgy and art of theatre in the world. It gives the detailed account of Indian theatre's divine origin and expounds rasa. This text becomes the basis of the classical Sanskrit theatre in India. Even the Sanskrit theatre must have begun as a narrative form with recitation, singing and dancing becoming its integral elements. This emphasis on narrative elements uh, made our uh, theatre essentially theatrical right from the beginning. That is why the theatre in India has encompassed uh, all the other forms of literature and fine arts into its physical presentation. Literature, mime, music, dance, movement, painting, sculpture and architecture all amalgamated into one. Bhasha roots in classical and Sanskrit drama. So, now let us uh, go uh, little uh, background, uh, let us go to see the little background of this uh, rise of great Bhasha tradition, which was uh, rooted in classical Indian drama or Sanskrit drama. When we delve into the finding process of India's Bhasha theatre's origin, it shows that this theatrical tradition is inextricable part of our human civilization. It encompasses the practice of music, dance, drama and religious rituals to express human feelings and emotional state. Based on oral tradition in Vedic and Buddhist cultures, Natya or Rang was used to disseminate the tales of human lives in a real context. Appearance of folk theatre is linked with the alteration of political system, transfer of power and different kind of patronage in India as well as the coming into existence of different regional or bhasha languages in all parts of the country. Sanskrit theatre was nourished by preeminent playwright like Vasa, Kalidasa, Shudraka, Vishakadatya. Bhavabhuti and Harsha. This body of works which were sophisticated in its form and thematic content can be equaled in its range and influence with the dramatic yield of other prosperous theatre traditions of the world like ancient Greek theatre and Elizabethan theatre. However, it was also largely urban oriented limited only to specific elite class and caste. On the contrary, the vernacular or bhasha folk theatre evolved out of rural roots and was more simple, immediate and closer to the rural milieu with a greater reach and acceptability. Now, let us talk about various forms as, as precursor to the modern Indian bhasha drama. Um, while most of these theatrical forms have their own distinctive styles based on their local customs, differing from one another in terms of execution, uh, stagecraft, costume, makeup, and acting, even though there are certain basic parallels, the South Indian performances emphasize on dance form like Kathakali and and. Krishnattam of Kerala. In fact, can be suitable to be termed as dance dramas, while the North Indian forms like the much of Madhya Pradesh, uh, the Nautanki of Uttar Pradesh, the uh, Khyal of Rajasthan and the Swang of Punjab emphasize more on songs. The Tamasha of Maharashtra, the Jatra of Bengal and the Vawai of Gujarat 
stresses on dialogue in their performance. The latter two focuses on comedy and satire, puppet theatre like uh, Gombeyatta of Karnataka, uh, Ravanachaya of Orissa, Globe Puppets or Gopalila of Odisha, Pavai Kutu of Tamil Nadu, Doll Puppets or Putulnach of uh, Bengal and Bombalatumamu of Tamil Nadu and the Mysore state Karnataka and String Puppets or Sakhi Kundai of Odisha and Katputli of Rajasthan are some of the popular forms. Historians can also be found in certain solo forms of Indian classical dance traditions like Bharatnatyam, Kathak, Odissi and Mahiniyattam. Folk dances uh, like the Gambira and Puruliya Chau of Bengal, Seraikala Chau of Jharkhand and Mayuruvan Chau of Orisha also have a theatrical narrative element in them. Dramatic content is even intervened into the ritual ceremonies in some regions, particularly those of Kerala with its uh, Mudiyattu and Teyam. Now let us uh, focus on characteristics of the Bhasha theatrical performances. Bhasha theatre or Natyarang incorporated not only the common masses interest, but there is also a classical component in them. This classical aspect nevertheless takes on a regional, local and folk linguistic flavor. It is a probability that those associated with the classical Sanskrit drama or theatre went to the neighboring provinces after its deterioration and intermingled with the indigenous performance forms. This kind of synthesis give and take must have taken place uh, at numerous uh, planes uh, such as uh, written, verbal, classical, contemporary, national and local. Historically speaking, it was during the 15th to 16th century under the tutelage of uh, Bhakti and Sufi tradition that the folk theatre emerged uh, forcefully in different regions. It used um, diverse dialects, languages and idioms of the regions where it emerged. In the beginning, this dealt purely in devotional theme and characteristically located around the corpus of religion, local legends and mythology. Later with changing times, gradually it became secular in content and began to focus on folk stories of desire, romance and chivalry and also biographical accounts of local heroes. Towards Naya theatre or new theatre, because new theatre is a very significant movement, very significant theatrical movement uh, in the in the sphere of bhasha theatre or bhasha theatre tradition. During British colonial time in 18th to 19th centuries, Indian theatre was reborn in form of dramatic literature. The stimulus ushered in from two sources the rich legacy of classical Indian drama and the exposure to classics of western dramatic tradition through English colonial theatres in cities like Calcutta, Bombay and Madras. Translations start, started to appear simultaneously of Sanskrit masterpieces and classics of western canon, particularly Shakespeare and other English language playwrights. Till now, dramatic literature had not developed as a major literary genre in Indian languages or bhashas. Describing the situation, Rakesh H. Solomon writes, uh, during this period, while the Europeans were discovering ancient Indian culture, Indian elites were discovering modern European culture. Out of this encounter arose the new theatrical genre called the modern Indian theatre shaped by the imperatives of empire, nationalism and nativism. This was a metropolitan genre created by a bilingual high caste bourgeoisie, who strategically adapted elements from a gallery of models that included the Sanskrit theatre, traditional theatre and European theatre. 
Consequently, drama now began to flourish as a uh, prized literary genre alongside the modern genre of fiction. Um, also, uh, it, it responds to, toward uh, western influences on it. The city based Parsi and Bengali or Bangla theatre were perhaps the uh, precursor to the bhasha movement into drama and theatre followed by Marathi, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Telugu, Bhojpuri uh, and other uh, bhasha Indian traditions. There was one more significant movement uh, which uh, gave the confidence to the bhasha tradition not only in case of theatre, but in, but in, the, in the sphere of literature also literature and, and, and uh, the total cul uh, culture of creating literature and different art. That movement is uh, IPTA movement. An important episode of Indian Bhasha drama or theatre will be missed if IPTA is not mentioned. Socialist realism in Indian Bhasha drama was associated with IPTA or Indian People's Theatre Association and their experiments. IPTA was a group of artists subscribing to progressive ideology, though its expressions were varied from region to region, they were all committed to the vision of theatre as a means for social change. This movement was strongest in regions like Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Maharashtra, Bengal, Punjab, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala. Nabanna is a Bengali drama written by Bijan Bhattacharjo and staged by IPTA in 1944 under the direction of Shombhumitra. The play is about the Bengali famine of 1943. The Bengal IPTA took the play to many parts of India as a part of its festival, Voice of Bengal, and it became a major success and collected lakhs of rupees uh, for Femine relief in rural Bengal. The IPTA performances in the Hindi speaking belt of North Indian were mostly influenced by socialist uh, realist uh, works of Howard Fast and Maxim Gorky. Visham Shahani and Habib Tanbir were examples of such a tradition. In the south, attempts were made to integrate social messages with traditional forms. The most renowned of such plays is a Malayalam work, Ningal Endai Communist Akki, You Made Me a Communist by Topui Vasi. The legendary presentations of this play, performed by Kerala People's Arts Club or KPAC, said to have cemented the way for the first ever elected communist government in Kerala. Influenced by the movement, many amateur theatres came into being in various regions of India, championing the cause for social change also came into being in different regions. Though not popular like entertainment theatre, it kept alive the role of drama as a criticism of life. One such theatre was Prithvi Theatre, founded by the uh, movie star Prithviraj Kapoor in 1944. On the, on the similar lines, uh, Habib Tanbir created Naya Theatre, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. He wrote and produced and performed uh, plays like Agra Bazaar, uh, 1954, and Charandas Chor, 1975, among many others. 1970s onwards, inspired by the ideology, arts, and aesthetics of IPTA, Jana Natya Manch, Delhi, started by Saddar Hasmi. Third theatre Kolkata started by Badal Sarkar and uh, Samudaya theatre movement in Karnataka. Now, let us talk about post independent uh, scenario and creation of academy and, and, the, for, and the institutionalization, formally institu institutional, institutionalization of theatre and state sponsorship um, uh, for the uh, theatrical performances. The Bhasha theatre received a major boost in the post-independence era by, by the establishment of several national academies under Ministry of Culture, Government of India, uh, which led to the preservation, promotion and, and uh, nourishing growth of theatre arts. 
Sangeet Natak Academy or National Music and Performing Arts Academy was set up to promote performing arts including theater. This institution has been conferring awards annually on talented artists who have enriched different aspects of theater from uh, playwriting to direction, acting, etc. It also organizes from time to time seminar, workshops and festivals to encourage theater. Many leading directors, actors and playwrights have been the recipients of the prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Award. During this phase, internationally acclaimed playwrights like Vijay Tendulkar, Badal Sarkar, uh, Dharam Virbharati, Mohan Rakesh, Girish Kannad, Chandrasekhar Kambar, P. Lankesh and Indira Parthasarathi created their works which have been extensively performed and deliberated upon. These playwrights brought a new zeal of life to Bhasha theatre with a thematic uneasiness of the modernist angst. Particularly in 80s, Sangeet Natak Academy played the key role to those theatre directors who revive traditional forms both folk and classical on modern stage benefited uh, from uh, these schemes many directors created and performed unique wave of dramas for example at uh, Tribandram Kerala Ken Panikkar established Sopanam group creating and performing play in Malayalam and Sanskrit uh, Vinapani Chawla found uh, Adi Shakti at Pandicherry created and performed plays in Tamil Sanskrit and English. Uh, Hesnam Kanhalal created Kalakshetra and Ratantyam created chorus repertory at Imphal Manipur, creating an fascinating niche for performance in Manipuri language. Theatre of the Roots movement is also a result of such a scheme. Another important development in post independent theatre was the emergence of drama school uh, theatre following the uh, establishment of National School of Drama, an autonomous institution funded by state in Delhi. Under guidance of visionaries like Ibrahim Al Qazi, trained at uh, RADA, RADA, UK, and Vivi Karand, trained in Yakshagana traditions of Karnataka, created an elaborate curricula ranging from the Western theatrical traditions to Indianized theatre practices. In effect, the dialectics between Western influence and Indian response has characterized the work of several generations of theatre artists trained in uh, NS, bringing about a uh, unique cultural hybridity that makes the contours of Indian Bhasha theatre, regular performances of plays mostly in Hindi in, in various parts of the country by National School of da, da, Drama uh, Repertory Company has also contributed immensely in disseminating the emergent hybrid aesthetics. Bharat Rang Mahotsab, the annual international theatre festival organized by National School of Drama showcases a whole gamut of productions from all over India and the rest of the world informing, educating the playwrights, actors, theatre workers uh, alike about the developments leading to newer experiments. Now, uh, le let us conclude our discussion. Uh, recently, a seven day Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahatshab was organized with an objective of connecting the younger generation with the sheer diversity of Indian culture and presenting a unique opportunity to witness folk, traditional, tribal and classical art forms of India at one destination. The festival also involved schools, colleges and the younger generation from all works of life thus creating connection across audiences by entertaining and educating them at the same time. We should recognize it is this uh, folk bhasha traditions that bind us together as one people and hope in future many more such attempts will lead us to connect further with our rich diverse traditional bhasha cultures. In order to comprehend how our diversity is our strength, new generation of playwrights in different provinces of the country are now addressing problems like identity crisis, 
effects of globalization, economic liberalization, contemporary directions, hires, hires of a ma magnificent bhasha tradition are recreating the idiom of theater by, by drawing on uh, resources of old tradition and folk resources performed in 24 major languages and in many tribal languages and in English. Indian drama and theater today has, uh, has been still contributing significantly in social integrity, promotion of cultural diversity and nation building. Thank you.